Well, the big afternoon in Queensland politics just before we went to air was the release of a report authored by Professor Peter Caldrake, a four-month probe into the integrity issues inside the Queensland government. Pretty damning report. It paints a government culture, according to Professor Caldrake, where matters have been compounded by a culture that's too tolerant of bullying, unwilling to give life to unfashionable points of view and dominated by the occupational hazards of all governments, short-term political thinking. He makes 14 recommendations, uh, lobbying, regulation strengthened, uh, whistleblower protection, a whole lot of other things in, term, in terms of the public service in Queensland. Joining me now to go through some of the detail, Queensland Opposition Leader David Crisofulli. I know it's just dropped, David, but it's, it's a damning report. What are your first impressions? You're right, Peter, it has just dropped, but on first glance, it is damning with a capital D. And it shows the culture of the Queensland government is broken, and it specifically says that is a result from the top down. Well, we know who's at the top. It's been the same person for seven years, and that's Premier Palaszczuk. It shows a culture where ministerial staffers are walking through bureaucracies like... Uh, like they're in charge of the world, barking orders. It shows a culture of cover-ups where public servants feel so under pressure that they are forced to manipulate reports or not put things in writing to avoid RTI. Quite frankly, it shows that government in Queensland is broken and it actually strengthens our calls for a full-blown Royal Commission to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I was going to ask you that point. I mean, are things so crook in Queensland now that if elected, the only way you can clean it up is to go back to sort of the Fitzgerald era and have a Royal Commission into the conduct of integrity and government in Queensland? Well, Peter, in the late 80s, it took some brave people to stand up and say enough's enough and we need to put a lens over the way we do things. What this has done is shown some of the failings with the way the government has presided over a culture of the public service. But make no mistake, this is one bin fire of an integrity inferno that's burning through the state Labor government. There are cultural issues for sure, but there are also issues that this report will not get to the bottom of, and that is the way that the lobbyists mm -hmm. have free reign. Yes, it touches on lobbyists, but it doesn't talk about a culture where we've seen today where the QBCC, that's the building regulator, chaired by a well-known Labor luminary, engages a Labor lobbyist to tell them how to deal with the Labor minister. You can't make this stuff up. And the icing on the cake, that Labor lobbyist then donates back to the Labor Party. Sounds like a pretty neat little circle, doesn't it? There are cultural issues. There are corruption issues. The Queensland government is toxic and nothing short of a royal mm. commission will find those accountable who need to be. I've never seen a government so close to the lobbyist culture, uh, you know, when they're in a campaign, election campaign, Anastasia Palaszczuk has lobbyists working closely with her. And then as political strategists, the moment she gets elected, they go back to being lobbyists. Uh, and there's this, um, this interdependency then between the elected government and people making money off their connections with the, the elected government. And then in the report, the Coldrake report, you've got basically no distinction between political staff and public servants when there should be a very big wall between these two groups. Uh, you got it, Peter. Yesterday, the Premier tried to get in front of this and made some of the most bizarre alterations towards lobbyists about who you can organise a meeting with. Make no mistake, this isn't about lobbyists across the board. It's about a lobbyist working in a taxpayer-funded building, running an election campaign and now getting their pound of flesh. Uh, are Queenslanders waking up to this, David? They are, Peter, because in the end, when government's focused on looking after their mates, they're not getting you an AMBO on time. They're not fixing youth justice. They're not mm. dealing with roads on time and on budget. And this government has given up on integrity. Right. It's given up on good government.